I'm um, sorry I'm late. I, I just had to leave my district meeting. <laughs> so you, you are actually exactly on time because we are just starting. So I want to okay. thank everyone for joining us on April 1st, our um, last JCPC meeting, I think, um, as we finalize this document. And I one of the first things I want to do, the entire agenda tonight is to look at the document we have, make any additional changes um, uh, verbally, and then get to a final. So what I want to just do, because we're meeting virtually um, per governor's order, is go around to make sure everyone can see and be heard. So I'll just go around the room as I can see them. So Mandy? Present. Andy? Present. Carrie? Present. Alex? Present. Peter? Present. And Tammy? Present. So everyone is here. We have a full committee, which is pretty much what we've had every time, which is fantastic. Um, so we have a document, and I'll ask Sean to pull it up on the screen. And then, you know, Alex, you can be the guide because you know what you did where. Um, and the uh, and Tammy, I did. I already incorporated the how do what do we call Munson? Um, so we call it the same thing. Um, so we will do that. So I think we can just pull it up and then go through any additional changes. And you're going to have to make it a lot bigger, I think, Sean. At least for my eyes. How, how's that? Um, can people see that or should he make it still bigger? And um, somehow it's not. Keep going, youngin. I, <laughs> yeah, no, a, I, so my, a, year, my, a year on Zoom, I can't see anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so my work, my work lap uh, monitor is very big. So it's very big on my screen, but that's okay. I'll make it, how about now? Oh, that's okay. good. Pretend your grandmother wants to view it. <laughs> okay, I think for me, that's good. Does that work for other people? Okay, I think everyone's seeing. So so the the changes that I incorporated, I tried to be minimalistic and just get what I thought was the sense of what we were saying. Um, so I didn't do a lot of uh, rewording. And Alex, I think yours start right at the recommendations. Is that right? Yeah, at the Munson, Munson Building HVAC. So, 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 so maybe I, again, maybe I heard this wrong. So I'm gonna read it the way I rewrote it because it's the way I heard it, which is different than the way you have written. So if other people didn't, hear it the same way, I'm happy to be shut up. Um, so I wrote that we recommend a budget sufficient to replace the existing HVAC system with uh, energy efficient VRF system. Based on discussions, the $30,000 request would be combined with existing funds to replace the system. We further agree with recommendations regarding adding insulation, ceiling fans, and other measures to increase efficiency in the building if these additional measures can be funded out of the existing maintenance funds. If there are not sufficient funds, they should be added to the FY23 budget request. So you had like 30,000 for insulation and I don't, that wasn't how I heard it. So I heard it that he was asking for the 30 to get him the VRF, but he also thought that was gonna get him some ceiling fans and insulation as well. Um, so, but maybe I heard it wrong. So I'm just looking, I mean, we can certainly check the tape um, on that. And I have no problem with that rewording. So um, I'm looking to anyone else. Silence. So Mandy has her hand up and Mandy. Tammy had her hand up. Yeah, okay. I, I, think, you know, I think they say about the same thing. I think just Alex's is clearer. What I heard was, there's 30,000 in the current request and that would be sufficient to put in a VRF system. But he believes we'd need another 30,000 on top of that to be able to do the other energy um, efficiency installations like insulation and fans and stuff like that. Okay. So, so I, I'm I fine with it. They say the same thing, but I think Alex's is potentially clearer. Okay. So we'll just do a, she sent me that wording um, and we can put it in. Do you, know, when do you want me to copy it in right now, Kathy, or and just so people can see it? Sure. So you've got Alex's, right? Yeah. I'll, I'll, um... 
So when, it, when, when he was presenting, the, it gets doubly confusing because there's an additional amount that he's asking for, because, but he already has money. So that what, that's what got him up to the 120. <laughs> so the request is for this amount, but he has an additional amount and then he needs another additional amount for the insulation and ceiling fans. So I, I, I think Alex's wording probably gets to the full gestalt of what is fine. How do we get from 30 to 120? It would help explain that. Um, all right, I think I just put in the new language. So if you want to take a look and see if that. Alex, is, can you take a quick look, make sure I grabbed it correctly? Sorry, I'm muted. Yeah, I think so. I assume if you just cut and pasted it. Yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Sorry, it's extra small on my screen because I have mine side by side. <laughs> Sorry, Tammy has her hand up too, Kathy. Okay, Tammy. Um, I had made the comment about it, um, explaining about subtracting the debt service to get an amount um, close to the request, but it seems like we have two paragraphs that are similar. Um, we have after allowance for debt service and then the initial capital press, including the one point, it seems like it's it's um, a little repetitive. Um, I don't know, I'm confused. Um, what section are you on, Tammy? Um, okay, there you, in the first paragraph, you talk about the allowance for debt service, total available equals 5 million. But then the next thing talks about totaled 7 million, including the 1.6 million. So it's, I just wanted to have it one place where it explains that the 1.6 million gets deducted from the total capital um, so that that's where you get the, these requests nearly equal to available funds. I think people reading this aren't gonna understand that you subtract the 1.6 million from the 7 million. Um, so I don't know. Um, so you're saying this this sentence here? Um, it kind of it, yeah. it's kind of repeating. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to how to do it unless it says um, because the total request really didn't equal seven million. I mean, minus the one point six, which you've got up there. So it's just confusing to me that you get the total available cash spending is 5 million. Then the next paragraph, it, I don't know. I'm just, it, it, it just seems a little confusing. I'm not sure the best way to, maybe somebody else, maybe nobody else is confused by it. I just think that if somebody is reading this, we want to make it really clear. Um, yeah. Somebody goes on the, you know, the town website and says, oh, I'm going to read that, that it's really clear what we're doing. Mandy has her hand up. Mandy. I wonder if changing the word including to just which included 1.6 million would, would take care of that. Yeah. Because you, you do refer that, um, I mean, it's already up there with after the after allowance for debt service and prior capital projects, the total available is 5 million. Well, there, well, here's the difference. I mean, the that's the cash capital. Then we only have 5.4 in cash to spend. But if we borrow another 1.6, we get up to the seven. That's that's where we can be spending that. So we're doing the chiller with debt. We're doing okay. that. It, it, you know, so those are different. They're different. Um, OK, then then do the which includes. OK. Okay. Six million. I think that's Mandy's is okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. So I'm not seeing another hand up. So sustainability, Alex, you're just going to have to call out because you're, I'm not, I didn't memorize what things you. What? Come on. Um, <laughs> so, study, but. so, and again, so. I'm not sure I've seen a final um, 
number. I didn't know whether the sustainability actually got to 100 or not. I haven't seen that. So I had just changed it on sustainability fund to say, um, we endorse this new fund and recommend an increase from $50,000 to such higher amount that can be achieved through closing out old articles to repurpose past appropriations and reductions in line items to the FY22 budget for computers and copiers. We recommend an initial goal of 100,000 if achievable. This amount should be reevaluated next year to determine appropriate amount of, for this fund. The creation of this fund will position the town, blah, blah, blah. So again, if I've got that wrong, let me know. But that was Carrie's comment about not setting the 100,000 as like forever. And I didn't, like, is it 100,000 or are we still working on that? I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll wait to see other hands. I mean, I had thought that we thought it was a good idea to go to 100 and we're- Well, a good um, idea is different than like, we've actually moved the money. You know what I mean? Like we've been able to cut it to like, so I'm if we're trying to get a balanced budget. I, that's why I was saying like, our goal is 100, but like, we're gonna take what we can get and put it there unless I'm missing something. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm looking, Mandy, you know, cause I thought this was actually a recommendation to do this. So, yeah, but so this is this is a recommendation to the manager. So I, I don't know whether, it's good to not set a number, um, you know, because we're recommending to him to rejigger the amounts in copiers and all. And so I, we could do either Alex's wording that has something an increase ideally to 100,000 for next year or something, but I think we should put a number in there of what we would like to see it at. Um, right, which I said we recommend an initial goal of 100,000. Okay. Yeah, so I was just trying to say, basically say like, we want you to rejigger as best as you can and your goal is a hundred grand. I didn't think that we were like handing him a balanced budget with a hundred thousand. And so I just wasn't sure that that was, yeah, anyway. <laughs> All right, so Kathy, do you want me to put in um, the other version and you can see what it looks like? I do, I, I guess I want to hear from anybody else. I mean, I don't mind making a concrete recommendation. I mean, last year, if as everyone remembers, it was a much different year, but we we had a particular split on the capital fund and he just overrode our recommendation, you know. <laughs> you know, but but I mean we had a recommendation. It wasn't he strongly like, considered it. Yeah, right. He strongly considered no, he, he he took it under advisement. So it's, you know, I I don't mind softening it, but I thought we thought a, a target of 100,000, given what we were gonna to wanna to be doing with this fund made sense. And they, then some of the discussion, Carrie's hand is up. Yeah, sorry, I'll stop talking. No, it's okay. I was just gonna say that, um, I think the way I remember it was that the 100,000 um, was a number that seemed to, um, Sorry, it's been a long day. Uh, a hundred thousand seemed like the number that the town manager was comfortable with, and I, I, I kind of thank you for the reminder, Alex, about my comment about um, making sure that we're not setting a precedent that is something that might get us in trouble down the road. As um, and and so I, I'm fine suggesting the hundred thousand, and I'd also be fine putting in that comment here. I'd also be fine saving a comment like that for if this is supposed to be an executive summary, I could see that being something that maybe we'd save for later on in the document and saying just about the sustainability fund later on, that this is something where we'd want to potentially, you know, reevaluate it as, as we move forward, just because it's such a new, um, new fund. Okay, Peter's hand is up. Yeah, I mean, I like, uh, I more or less like the language as it is. Um, I like I like the idea of just setting a value um, that didn't seem outlandish to either Sean or, or Paul um, with whatever conditional we want to put in that we're not saying that this is a locked in minimum for you know the next X number of years that must increase by some by some value. Um, you know I think I, it's it doesn't seem like that strong of a commitment because because that entire next bullet, is, is a pretty large conditional that, um, you know, that we're going to have to do some accounting work here to, to repurpose and to 
work with the schools in the town, the technology request if, if it's feasible. So um, you know, I think it's I think it's fine like it is. Um, but I'm I'm um, you know certainly op I understand the idea of not wanting to set the precedent. Kathy, can I add one thing to what Peter said? Sure. I think the the two versions essentially say the same thing, except <laughs> for um, one sentence that maybe we can just add, which is um, this amount should be reevaluated next year to determine if it's the appropriate amount for the fund. Maybe we could just add that to the version that's here. Um, other than that, I think most of the things in both ver it may not be said in the same way, but I think it's said throughout the document. Okay. Are you okay with that, Kathy? I'm okay. I'm you know I I shouldn't be a final say here. I just was a first drafts person. <laughs> but right, it, so I'm going to put it in there and let's see if it how it looks. Is that the right spot or should I put it at the end? Um, I'm looking for anybody else on this. I think it's in the right place. No, I agree. Yeah, I think that works. All right. So, you want, should we go to move on to the next bullet point? So, the next one I just thought for, I know this is for the town manager, but if somebody in the public reads it, I thought it might be helpful to just add a clarifying sentence at the beginning that says, you know, due to computer purchases made under the CARES Act and lower usage of certain equipment due to building closures, we recommend working with departments to reduce school, town, and library technology requests as feasible and placing those funds into the sustainability fund. I'm fine with that wording. Did everyone, I mean, Sean's got, Sean's got all of it. And so whatever we change here, we'll change the internal one. So it's, we only have to change it once. I was thinking where to put it in. I guess I could just. Yeah, I, I've got Alex's, so like we can do it later. Okay. You know, I do, you know, this is also, um, you know, a slight difference in writing set styles. I'm often criticized for being too brief. Okay, I'm, I'm criticized for being too long-winded. So no, maybe just really, you know, and, and I, <laughs> you know, I have this background where I was told the executive summary could only be 150 words. So I wordsmithed it down to, you know, like had to get it down. Um, so, but, so the, it's the, so just at, we'll just put that wording in. Okay, resident capital request. This, this one, I, I reworked a fair amount from last time to try to capture, particularly Mandy, you wanted to make it you know, clear that how would it, you know, that there was money over in the regional pool and that this all should go first for grants and then come back to the sustainers. So that was the rewrite here. This is different from what you saw last time, but Alex, you had rewords on this one too, I think. Yes. No, I just changed by first seeking to through, but that's really not like, yeah, that's stylistic. So I, okay. I don't have any edits to that one. Okay. And I just want to make sure everyone's comfortable with that at that point. I mean, I did see Peter and Carrie that it is definitely in the regional school budget now, that 15K. Um, so it's not just a maybe. I, so well, it's well if it gets approved. <laughs> oh, right. Right. It's it's in the proposed budget. Part. The, the 60 days have started. So it's in your request that is it on a countdown. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Alex, why don't you just let us know when you get to your next um, changes. So the school van for special needs, I was just changing that, um, allocating funds from the sustainability to seeking additional funds from the sustainability fund. Cause I, I mean, I don't know, like, okay. I guess I was, I was trying to give the town manager like options, but again, you know, that's, I'm sure it's just me trying to be friendly and maybe we need to be more like, this is what you should do. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Are people okay with seeking? Yep. Okay. 
So on the North Amherst intersection, I took out the we recommend the town manager delay the request and just said we recommend uh, financing the study in FY22 only if there is evidence that spending money would significantly enhance the likelihood of getting a grant based on information we received the proposed, inter uh, proposed intersection construction would be 1.8 million. So that, I mean, that was what I heard. I was just sort of Okay, reducing then, the edit, reducing the editorial piece, and just making it factually like we said. You know, if it's going to help get a grant, go. Otherwise, no. And so, so that just goes. We recommend, and then it goes right down to right. We, we recommend financing. financing, financing, financing study. I, I think that makes total sense. That's much better. So I think it's it's basically those two sentences, right? Yeah, Alex. Yeah, and then you don't have you don't need the further anymore. Right. Yeah. It's, you know, which says we, yeah, you get it, it goes. People okay with those? Um, I yeah. think we need a the between financing and study now. Yeah. So I did have, you know, I had a question of you, Sean, um, but I think this is where you, everything that we're putting in this document is as proposed to us. So one of the things I saw that is if we don't do if the 1.8 was assumed not to be a grant, but was assumed to be debt, um, which Sean said it was, then the out years, our, our budget is more balanced than we think. <laughs> because if we would only do that 1.8 million with a grant, we're not incurring debt for it. So Sean, you'll, I just am assuming that you'll work with Paul on that. Yeah. You know. I, we haven't finalized what we're going to do, but I think I mentioned before, my thought was maybe pulling the, the big chunk of this project off the list and putting it down in one of the sections that we create where it's on our, you know, in the planning phase. Um, and that way it'll take the debt out of, out of the plan. So we're not sort of artificially reducing what's available. Yeah. And the debt, you know, and that's, you know, Peter, it was going to your point about what happens in out years to operating costs. It's a couple hundred thousand dollars in debt that, we won't have if we can get a grant for this. And so if we're only gonna do it, if we get a grant, you know, so you'll you'll just address that. We don't, I figure we don't need to talk about that. Yeah, no, that, that's one of, the, one of the things that will be, I'm sure will be updated in the final version of the capital improvement program, so. Okay. Okay, next. So my next comment is on the, the committee observed that the five-year plan, wait, oh, hold on, choir support. Yeah, so the committee observed that the five-year plan illustrated in Appendix A. Um, so this is really poorly worded by me, for which I apologize, but the, what I wanted to get at was, um, there's been a plan, right? Like, it's not like we're suddenly like, oh my God, there's projects and we have to like change how we're spending money. And, and you know, every JCPC capital report since I've been on has sort of consistently talked about shifting money to roads and sidewalks and eventually needing to shift it back. So when I first started on JCPC, we were spending basically nothing other than chapter 90 on roads and like $30,000 on sidewalks. And we were bumping that up to a million. So even, even in FY24 through 26, like dropping down to 750 and 500 is still like miles better than what we were doing previously. So I just wanted to add some kind of language that like, you know, as part of the planning for the four major capital projects, the town manager has continued to make road work and sidewalk repair a priority and JCPC agrees with the continued higher levels of spending to address the backlog of necessary repairs. The five-year plan illustrated in Appendix A reflects the anticipated return to lower levels of spending on roads, sidewalks, and equipment. And again, just trying to remove the editorialization that I perceived in the document and just kind of stick with being consistent from JCPC to JCPC in terms of like, we have a plan, this is the plan that we're doing. And that may not be the right language, but that's what I was trying to tweak that paragraph to. So I put the... The sec I think this is what Alex just said yep. above, and it would replace the paragraph below it um, if you guys want to make that change. You know, I am okay with it. The one, um, 
it's certainly it's certainly accurate. The the one thing that was, I do think the town manager, when he talks about this, he has to uh, bring this up to people. You know, that it, whether you we see it or it could be seen as a return to lower levels, when we're told that we're not beginning to eat away at the backlog and that people are asking, when is my road coming in? So I, I think just, you know, Paul just needs to flag this when he talks. So I, I think this is accurate. I mean, so my, the, uh, the one sentence I had that, that, that we recommend the town manager highlight this when he presents the budget, you know, was the other sentence. Are people okay with um, I'm a, Alex's I'm a paragraph and then keeping the, last sentence of the original. It would look like this. Peter's got his hand up. Peter. Uh, yeah, so I, I guess I'm just confused about what it is we say. Um, whoops. No, no. Sorry. Oh, you're moving it. all the words around on me, We're, man. You want me to go back? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 that's fine. <laughs> um, so this, this phrase, JCPC agrees with the continued high levels of spending to address the backlog. I don't, I don't know about that. And it's not just because I love to bash the sidewalk budget line <laughs> item. All right, it's not just because it's my favorite whipping post. Um, it's, it's because if the whole document, right, we're going into excruciating detail about what we do support and approve for this budget. Uh, and then we talk about the, the five-year plan in, in general terms. Um, so I don't even know if we need to opine on what the town manager has done recently and what they do, has been doing at FY21 with regards to the spending. I mean, that, that stuff has been, you know, adjudicated by past um, JCPCs and town councils and town meetings before that. Um, so, but I, I do like the, the general point that, that Kathy and Alex are making that, um, that this has happened and that the town manager needs to highlight and emphasize this to the public when presenting the, you know, the, what what the ebb and flow of of the the relative spending of of the the capital backlog, including the the roads. Um, when, when, I'm happy to be overruled, but that was that, that's just how I how I read that. But when but when Sean just took this, he's he's being very clever here. But he just took the sentence about JCP agrees with this. He took that out. So instead, it now says the town managers continue to make a priority. The five year plan is we'll we'll be going back to lower levels. So it doesn't have us weighing in on this. It has us just stating what's in the five year plan. Um, yeah, I mean, so that 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 version. It feels feels good to me, um, but I'm I'm fine. To, there are different. No, I, I think that's fine. We certainly did not have a long discussion. We had it last year um, where we talked about roads being a priority, but we didn't this year. So I think this is accurate. Yeah, this is accurate. I think that's fine. So let's see if it makes sense. Mandy's Mandy, Mandy, oh, Mandy, Mandy, Joe, and Tammy. Mandy and Tammy. Yeah. Tammy's first. Tammy. Well, I I didn't have a problem with the original one, um, but but I'm happy if you're going to take out the um, that we ag agreed. Um, okay, I screwed up something with my computer. So, um, as I said, I was fine with the other one. This one's okay now that you took out um, that we agreed with it because um, I don't. I think it's fine to have this new one. I, I wasn't unhappy with the original one that Kathy wrote because <laughs> I also like to be spare in my writing. So I'm in agreement with that. So Mandy. Yeah, I would only, I, I'm fine with this except for the last sentence now doesn't seem to make sense with the manager make these choices clear. I like the word highlight. And highlight. Maybe the That's town fine. manager highlight this plan when presenting the five-year capital plan? Yep, that sounds great. Highlight um, this plan? That's what I said. I don't know whether that's the greatest wording either. <laughs> we, can, we, can, we can make sure the wording works. Highlight these choices. 
I like anyway. Trade offs, maybe. Or trade offs. That works. Trade offs works. Um, yeah. I mean, these it's these trade offs, and it goes with what we, we don't do. really talk about specific trade offs, though, but we could just say highlight trade offs. Okay. Right. Something like that. Yeah. That looks good. We're only on page one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this well, was going to be like a five minute meeting. Man. We got to vote this tonight. But you're going to mess I'm up sorry. my budget calendar if we don't. <laughs> in, in the next page, just you, wait, wait, Carrie, might have... Carrie has her knit hand up too. I just had a nitpicky um, change, which was oh, maybe you. Did you already fix it by taking off in the future? Yeah, it's flying by. <laughs> I don't. I don't I, see. I it. caught it in mine, so I think it's already been removed. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. I'm working off a paper copy. Yeah. I I don't have another comment till page three. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. And that last one, the words in the plan may be unnecessary, but it's not a big deal. Okay, I'll just, you know, I will read it really carefully when we get through with this. I'm having a hard enough time seeing when the hands go up, so I'm glad I'm not typing. Um, okay, so I think it's going to be, you know, Peter, Peter sent a thumbs up on it. So I think it's going to be mainly you, Alex, because I got Mandy's small, Mandy's got a couple comments later. Um, Those blue ones were mine. But these are, these are Mandy's. Yeah. Are these okay to accept or do we want to talk about? Yeah, I did. I left anything that was actually <laughs> word editing in that wasn't just missing a period and missing a Seems they seem like they're fine to me. Yeah, I li I, I like these additions a lot, Mandy. Because it's yeah. Any any I'm look waiting for. I mean, I thought one of the things this change did is that it, it was what Carrie had said about the the van. You know, we if we want a hybrid, but we don't. It might be more expensive than we think. So this is where this fun can come in and be useful. John, right at that cursor, right above there, I think you mean fund other capital projects? Um, Not fund capital other? To f and to fund other capital projects. <laughs> Sorry, I should have raised my hand. That's okay. That's okay. You should have. I, t I think at this point, sh shouting out, will help because I'm missing the hands too often. <laughs> OK. Um, Your faces are all very small right now on my screen. My, my only comment in that section was I, I found the use of a long time town resident to be like. Oh, I didn't. Like, why, like, like, why is that relevant? No, <laughs> no, I didn't know how to describe, you know, Andrew. Oh, just a town resident. <laughs> Okay. Oh, just a town and a town rent. You know. I mean, I mean, in New England, what is long time? Is it? No, I was. Gonna, <laughs> I do. Do a more mature. There are two high school students and a more mature town resident and a resident because the high school students are residents also. I literally didn't know what the high school students might what, not be residents because they might be from one of the other three towns. I don't know. Okay. Okay, and a town resident. That's you can take a long time out. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this one, Kathy, must have been left over because this number has to be updated. So I'll fix this number um, okay. for the final version. Okay. And I'll talk about my comment. Um, I just it's didn't remember um, it being we being told that the police station would be closed during a full installation of a VRF versus just highly disruptive. So. If it, we were told it was closed, then the wording's fine with me. If we were told that it would just be 
hugely disruptive, I would change the wording. I just couldn't remember. So maybe for this one, Kathy, um, unless people feel strongly one way or the other, I can just check with Jeremiah um, probably tomorrow morning and we and I don't, we can make sure it says whatever you want it to say. And, or and we could adjust it based on what he says. And Mandy, your wording would cover closing. So a major disruption could be interpreted as a temporary closure. So I, I'm fine with this. <laughs> I just, you know, he said it so nicely. And by the way, we'd have to close the building for a while, but he might have said, you know, and the building would be a wreck, but I think that works. Um, the, only, the only thing I would add is it was an electric chiller. So we didn't completely like back out on like doing, <laughs> it's not possible. Like I just would put in there that it is an electric chiller. So a proposed purchase of an electric chiller. Electric, yeah. Okay. yeah. And to be financed by debt, you need a D unfinanced. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any other comments on page three? And then this section would just be a cut and paste of whatever we did up top. Total copy and paste of the other, yep. Okay. Not cut, sorry, yeah, copy. <laughs> that should probably be marked so it's not forgotten to be done. I'll yeah. just do it. It's okay if I just do it right now real quick. Uh, sure. If we, we, can, we can have a nice clean document. <laughs> this is. I'm going to need I, a Dramamine after watching Sean edit the document like this. Man. I, I know. I know. <laughs> I know just, you know, my, my first experience with Sean was when he still was wor working for the schools and he was doing this with cost estimates where they were magically changing in front of our eyes. <laughs> you want to see it a different way? <laughs> so. So recommendations are good. Um, page four. So Alex, you were you had a removal of a whole paragraph and I'm fine with taking it out. It was, as I explained earlier, it was in, you, you can point out people what, what your, um, where it comes on this page. So I think you removed, did you have removing everything about the detail in the library? Well, I had, um, sorry, I'm trying to track like where things are with where mine is. Um, I had, hold on, um, in the paragraph, the proposed five-year plan. Um, um, if uh, where it says uh, last sentence, if accepted, the town share would be as much as, it's not as much as it is. Okay. So just take out as much as. Okay. Okay. And then um, in the funding for the library sentence, I just wasn't sure why we were calling out funding for the library. And instead I just put funding for for major capital projects. That's fine. Yep. Which one was that? I'm sorry, Alex, say that one more time. The it's, next paragraph it says funding for the library and three major projects, just to say funding for. Funding, <laughs> funding so for the four. <laughs> like, I don't know why we're calling out the library. <laughs> they all need funding and they all impact things. And then on the um, JCPC committee members discussed uh, that the five-year plan, JCPC committee members discussed that the five-year plan, I took out the is ambitious. We didn't discuss its ambition. We just discussed it. Um, so JCPC committee members discussed the five-year plan will result in pressure on operating costs 
as well as decreased funds for road sidewalks. Again, just trying to take out the editorialization and just keep it fact-based. And you don't need the word likely, it will. Exactly, yeah, it will, <laughs> exactly. Okay. Okay with those changes? And this is Mandy now, a temporary 20 to 30 increase. And this is yours, Mandy. Yeah, I was just trying to clarify it's higher taxes, but not permanent higher taxes with a debt exclusion override. And the 20 to 30 years is because I don't know. I know there's a plan for, um, I, I don't know what the debt exclusion plan is for how many years. It's 30 right now, but you're right. If, if interest rates are come in really low or something and we can keep it the same at 20, we might consider that. So I think the way you wrote it is right. Do, Alex, did you have anything in these? You, you'll call out if you have any, right? Okay. Yeah, I've been blurting out all meetings, so I won't, I won't stop now. Okay. <laughs> you had an edit, I think, in this new, this process, right? Oh, yeah, and five, I, because I, because the, um, Asset maintenance table is still under construction. I was just changed to staff is further developing because we're not going to have anything attached. And okay, that way it's like we are working on it. We have started. I don't know whatever language people want. And I changed um, when you get to the. Yeah, I think Mandy had suggested, the Mandy wording that she gave us last time is in here um, when you get to the bottom. This is the... Um, yeah, so this, this was the section where I kind of, again, I was sort of commenting on before we started the meeting, which is that I feel like, I feel like this committee has specifically not discussed or really opined on the major capital projects and I, I feel like this language was in prior JCPC reports because we did used to discuss them, but we're not now. So I don't take issue with mentioning the appendix or, but I just, I felt like we were getting into details about things that really aren't under the purview of this committee anymore because we're, we're not talking about them. Right, um, I, I agree with Alex. I mean, I don't know why we need all this stuff about the Mass Board of Library Commissioners. Yeah, um, it, it, it's a copy and paste from the old one. So I'm fine taking it out. So Alex, show where, which was, where does it start being the delete? Well, I guess my, I guess my, the bigger question to the group is what, what do we need here, if anything? Like, are we, we're including Appendix A, which is the, which is A? Is it B? I don't know. I, I don't have anything in front of me to know what's what. I a think, is the five-year plan. I think in the second paragraph, I would argue to keep the first, I think it's three sentences. So the five-year plan is noted above. That's your first mm -hmm. sentence. Tentative amounts for major, if, if we're just trying to be informative, major building projects, the projects have not yet been approved. Um, and the plan hasn't been approved, but a realistic plan must include tentative amounts. Okay, then that, take that was that was precisely put that, in there. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what I was thinking. That if you take everything out, then um, and then maybe the next paragraph as well in the schools, or I don't because again, I don't know. Like, although I need Peter and Carrie, <laughs> it might be worth putting the FY twenty five. It's there for, because that's within the five years, but maybe just the first sentence of that. Yeah, so you could take, you could just say new scope FY25, take the next sentence out and then go DPW and fire are shown as 22 and 25, right? Yeah. And then I mean, the amounts of timing will need revision once a project plan is adopted. Right. 
Okay, we'll just take out those sentences. All right, so which ones am I deleting? So after the new school is shown in FY25, although there's uncertainty, take the next sentence out. Um, the, and then the next sentence out, the table includes 40 million. <laughs> uh, tentative, and then we say tentative amounts for new DPW building. Does that work? Are shown in FY22 and FY25? Yeah, I think that paragraph so, makes sense now because it's all about timing. So now is, is the library the only one of the four projects we're not calling out in that section? I was just saying, I don't mind putting the library in, but the library is, I know, like, like it's the language that was there before was sort of the old language that was unknown. So I don't have a problem mm -hmm. putting it in. I just wanted it to be consistent with like, this is known, this is tentative or whatever. I just wanted it to be. I thought we had somewhere, maybe it's earlier that the library is shown, but maybe we don't. We, we do, it, it says, that, uh, you know, I can, we don't, everyone doesn't have to, we can all focus on the words if we want, but we can make this work with the library up above is saying we, we're gonna spend 15.71, you know, that amount is shown and we discuss it up above. So maybe this last sentence, you know, the library is shown for FY22 and then so we're, we, we can make that last one work. So, because we, what we have is the big point is they're all coming in in this five year period. That's the main point that this is why, it, right. So we'll, 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 ma we'll make that work that it's not missing it, Peter, and just say, you know, the, the five-year plan has this sequence. Yeah, I didn't this, feel too strongly about it. I just was reading the list and then. So this was an ad from last time. That's why I yellow highlighted it because Andy, you had said, you know, we're not showing the, what we've delayed, but refer to it that by necessity, some things have been delayed. So this was my wording that I added. Um, and then we suggested that the list be revised and Mandy did some edits on this, but I think we said just two categories and somehow um, I think I, I tried to capture them, <laughs> but I came up with three. So I have, you know, the categories that some of the grant grant dependent, and if we got the grant, we'd be ready to go. Some have been discussed in our priority; we're just not ready to do them, and some that we haven't done any analysis yet, but will be on the radar. So I just had three groupings here. Um, Kathy, can I say something real quick? Yeah, um, I think the groupings are good. I don't have any issues with those groupings. The only sentence I thought we might want to reconsider is where it says this plan delays some other projects and that like the senior center. So I don't know. Um, so just I take so, so I don't know if the senior center has been delayed. I think that's a good example of one where okay, it's still so sort of being discussed when, you know, if and when kind of thing. So th just take, puff, just then get senior center out because we heard specifically from Dave on dredging proffers. Right. So just I mean, it has been in the plan. The puffers or the senior center, Andy? Puffers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have an extra neighbor who's going to be very upset about this, but. It looks like if we don't do the North Amherst intersection, that borrowing could just be moved to puffers. <laughs> That's for the FY23 JCPC to discuss. <laughs> Or the fire truck. We'll just put Dave against um, <laughs> the team. Well, anyone who hasn't been to Puffers, I walk around there a lot because I live up here. Um, it's going to desperately need dredging because of all the trees that have been falling into it. You know, it's whatever was there before has now got um, more. Yeah, no, we, we are considering some grants for that project. There was one. Um, that we were trying to do this year, but they limited how many grants we could apply for. Um, I think but that's we're a about, high priority. We're about to be at the end, am I right? Uh, yeah, because then that's the end right there. So we're close. Yeah. I mean, so, the problem with puffers is in part is that uh, stuff comes into the pond from above uh, as it flows in from the stream. 
Right. It doesn't go out over the dam, so the pond just fills up. Yep. So I had, um, last time, I wanted to revisit one thing about the appendices. Um, last time, we agreed to just do the consolidated five-year that shows the totals and not put the line-by-line -line items in each of the five years. And um, I personally feel like if those are missing from this report, I will never know where to find them. And I find them useful to look at to see what was tentatively planned for when. So I didn't know whether what people want to reconsider that or just Sean figures finds an artful way to have them sitting right there whenever we find this report. We put a link into the original draft because the draft is what we were working off of, but then indicate X, you know, the future projects is on page X and the vehicle inventory is on page Y and the full five year plan is pages, you know, X to Y. So I, I can talk with Sean about a, a way of doing, you know, the, as you know, the, the Excel spreadsheet that does all of them goes on for multiple pages. So it bulks up the report um, quite a bit if there's an easy way of having it be freestanding. And then I do have this extra appendix way at the back. And again, I, Alex and Andy, this is just copy and pasted from the old JCPC that, that defines what is capital. <laughs> I'll you know, Peter. Sorry. Um, Peter's up or Alex's hand is up, but whether we want to have that at all was a question I asked. And Mandy said she could live without it. So those were the two things. Did we want to have the Excel spreadsheet in here at all? And this was, should we just get rid of the short history in the back, which I just moved out of the document to the end. So Alex. Um, I, I just had one quick, the very last sentence of the document on page six. Oh, okay, sorry. sorry. Go back That's up. Right. All right, everyone close our eyes again. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> I'm trying not to shout out. Okay. Okay. Um, go down one more. It's on the next page. I lied. On mine, it's six. Yeah, here. Um, so it says we recommend increasing the funding level for capital projects to 10% in subsequent years. So we do not fall further behind in preserving and maintaining our capital assets as we take on major building projects. Like that's not wrong, but again, like I'm just really sensitive to the fact that these aren't new ideas that we're recommending. I was just gonna say 10% in subsequent years as recommended in previous JCPC reports. Like this is what's been the plan all along. So um, okay. you can I just say per our financial policies. Because, exactly, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Like, Okay. And then, this goes back a long time if you want to know 10%. Back when I started on the finance committee in the beginning of the decade or the beginning of the century, to be honest, the finance committee created the 10% goal. Okay, that's fine. Peter's got his hand raised. Peter. And, and Andy, I don't know if you saw Peter that. and Andy. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, if you're looking for opinions on the last couple of questions, then I, mean, I, I do like making it as easy as possible to see those projects in the, in the out years. Um, so either forcing Sean to have some, make some really creative way to link there that's like incredibly easy. I just try to think of like, if you're a resident, right? And you go to the trouble of finding this report and downloading it and it's, it's, it's yet another, I know it's not hard to click on another link and then have Excel launch and then scroll down and then find the page that you're talking about. But if we were able to, you know, I guess I'm willing to take a little bit more length in this file in order to easily see that, that um, what is, you know, albeit a static snapshot, but is a helpful stat snapshot of those, those out projects. Okay. So I think that's, an yeah, Andy, Andy's hand is up and Mandy's hand, yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was just going to say the same thing pretty much as Peter said, if these uh, Excel spreadsheets exist, and I believe they do, then we should make them available as links. So I think it was pretty much the same thing Peter said. Mandy? I think Peter wanted them in the document. <laughs> And, and I guess my concern about the document is if we put it in the document, when this goes to the council and when Paul's plan goes to the council that looks different, the council and the public could be really confused about them not agreeing. Um, because this one they may see and say, oh, that's the plan, that's not a draft. Okay. And so I don't know how we do that. Whereas if we just link to it, we might be able to be clearer that this was the plan as of XYZ date, February, whatever it was. Okay, so we, we can do, a, Sean, we can, we're with Sean to put a label on it that this is what we were looking at as of it's actually as of February, 2021, you know, that it never changed. And it goes with this detailed table that's in Appendix A. I mean, it will be a matchup. And that at some point, Paul's, Paul's report has the same five years, all the detail in it, right? Sean, it will? It, it does, but the final, like to Mandy's point, the final version will likely be, will have you know some of the recommendations, maybe other things that have come into play since February, um, whatever date we started. So that five-year version may be a little bit different than the five-year version that's in this document. I mean, honestly, that was one reason I thought it may make more sense to include it in this document. So it's sort of self-contained in this document and we can date this document. Um, and then when the capital improvement program is finalized, that will, we'll make sure that's dated as well. And that'll have a different version with an updated date. Um, but either way, I mean, we can link it or, or attach it. So, you know, the, if, if the manager does what we're recommending, at least a couple of things will change. The sustainability fund will be a hundred thousand, and you know, and something you know. So there will be there's potentially a change even from what we're recommending. So, I putting it in this document only it bulks up the document if someone wants to print out the whole thing. If they just want to see a few pages in the appendix, like. Um, the other night in the school committee, it's what, what was recommended by the elementary schools. You can go to the school section um, and see it. So I don't really care. It's just, I'm going to probably make my own copy that has it as an appendix. So I don't have to figure out where to find it. Um, so it's its own PDF. At least it was presented to us at JCPC as a PDF. You know, there's this chart on this first, I don't know, the first one, and then the appendix. I don't know what our appendixes are yeah. anymore. Um, you know, but maybe just attaching the PDF with some note that says, you know, and, and when you convert this document into a PDF, I, I don't know whether you'd call it an appendix okay. or just a new attachment and just say the full draft report or plan as of February, whatever is attached as appendix B or whatever it is. Okay. We can, we can try doing that and just have it. Yep. Yeah. So it's two documents, but posted in exactly the same place um, with PDFs. You know, if, if you, if you say, if you tell Sean and me, mainly Sean to figure out how to do this, then we can see, try to make something work. So we already have it as a PDF. So when you convert this to PDF, Adobe should be able to just attach the other PDF on to make it one document. Yep. Mandy, are you um, saying just um, just attach the whole capital improvement program as a, as an attachment? The, no, the just draft version. Document. That's probably what you should do. Well, that's pretty long because it has all our meeting it's notes. No, it's the the one we were presented in February is thirty five pages. Yeah. I can easily, you know, extract the five year plan from that and just attach that piece to this PDF if, um, if, if you don't want to do the whole document either way. So you don't want to put the vehicles back in, do you, Mandy? I don't no. need to. Okay, good. All right. So are we, do we have a report that people are happy with? 
Are we going to vote? Or are you guys going to vote? Not me. But. Oh, that, that's what I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking. We could, we can take it down. We can, we can take it down from the screen and, we, and make our faces bigger if we want, want to go that route. So would someone like to make a motion? I move to, I don't know, are we approving? Is it an approval? <laughs> to approve the JCPC report as modified, amended on April 1st, 2021? Second. Peter, second. Okay, uh -huh. so I think I need to go around and get do an actual vote. So, um, Mandy. Aye. Alex. Aye. Andy. Aye. Peter. Aye. Tammy. Aye. Terry. Aye. And Kathy is a yes also. So we are unanimous. We are unanimous and we're a good team. Thank you. Kathy, thank you for all of your unsung work as chair. If, if, if anybody's yes. ever shared a committee before, you know, 90%, it's an iceberg, right? So thank you for all of your, your slogging behind the scenes and interfacing well, with Mr. Mangano over here is that's, that's really difficult. So it's not that hard. <laughs> you know that. No, it's, it's actually, you know, and if, you know, and you all are great. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to just check to see if we have any public, but um, it's been, no, we don't. Um, so, but um this, this actually felt uh, like a real collaboration. And I like what you, Alex, did. You know, I'm pulling it back and we didn't discuss this or, you know, doing this. I am my other world before I became a counselor was working with people who had often very opposing views, trying to get to yes in documents. Um, and we did it. We did always did it. So one of the things was trying to listen as closely as possible. And, and this was great. And having people who can read sentences down to <laughs> what you just found, Tammy, it's missing the, the past tense on that word. I mean, it's, it's really because after a while, word perfect just doesn't pick it up. So, or, or word doesn't pick it up. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. And we'll, we'll work on this and get it final, send everyone a copy. And I think we then submit it to the town manager and put it in the council, we, we submit it to the town manager, it goes directly to him, but it goes to the council just as a document with a, with a um, it has been submitted. So, so I want to thank everyone and wish them a happy rest of their Thursday night. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. We're adjourned. We're adjourned. Take care, night. everybody.